It's the paper house. Rockport. Or this part of Rockport, the called Pigeon Cove. Beautiful little paper house. In the garden. was started in 1922 by a Swedish immigrant named Ellis Stenman. It was a 20-year project, a hobby, really. The Stenmans, Ellis and Esther, lived in Cambridge near Boston. They had purchased this land to use as a summer retreat. What did he do for a living? Mr. Stenman was a mechanical engineer. He designed machines to make things out of wire such as paper clips and hooks and eyes, which were used as clo closings for clothing items. Where did he get the newspapers? Mr. Stemmen read three papers daily. His neighbors happily donated theirs once the project took shape. The foreign papers were collected by a friend who worked in Washington, D.C. The clock was built from newspapers collected by a neighbor. She wrote to each capital city and requested a paper for the project. Each of the then 48 states are represented. Is the house all paper? No. Since the house was meant as a summer cottage, there is a traditional wood frame and roof. The wall material and the interior lining of the roof are paper. This paper insulation was initially supposed to be covered with clock boards. As you can see, the paper with a varnish covering is sturdy enough to have survived the winter since 1924. How did he do it? The experiment started to see if newspapers could be sturdy and still retain the print. The log-like material was made by rolling newspapers dry, no glue, until the end of the roll, just enough to hold it tight. Yes, he did use a tool. It was a long wire with a loop on the end. The paper was twisted tight and the end glued. Each roll was tied with a few strings until dry. A simple enough process, just rather time consuming. Did anyone live here? Yes, the house was used during the summers, 1924 to 1929. Where is the kitchen? There was a stove in the corner where the fireplace is now. The house had running water, but no bathroom. Outhouses were the order of the day. How thick are the walls? The outside walls were made of 215 thicknesses of paper, about one half inch thick. The interior of the roof is lined with the same material. The house has a normal roof. What is the protective coating? Mr. Stenman used a marine grade varnish for a finish. The exterior is treated yearly. The interior has the original coating, nothing added since 1942. The porch overhang also serves to protect the outside. Is this really sturdy? Yes, but please don't try it now. The furniture was used for the stem that lived here. It is quite heavy. Think of a few Sunday papers. The fireplace, too, is usable. Only the mantle is paper. The firebox is brick. Have you seen it? Do you believe it? Yes. 